Right, here's a quick video to get you started using SQL commands with variables in a Visual Basic program. I've already got an existing program that has a database connection to a SQL Server database file, so I'm just going to start with that program, add a new form to give me some area to play with with this new way of doing things. Well, I'm new to this program not new to Visual Basic. Adding a data grid view control, setting the doc properties top so that it fills up the top of the form and gives me some room at the bottom to add some of my own controls. Choose my data source. And this by itself would just fill that data grid view with all the contents of that table. But I can do add query. And there's an example or sample that code down at the bottom for doing a, a where statement and using a parameter. That's what I want to do. And you just type the keyword where, give it a table name or column name, and then the add symbol, and then your parameter name. That can be whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. You'll see it, it's going to write some code for us automatically. Alright, it added a couple things to the tray and it added a couple of controls to the form. It added a label, a text box, and a button. And I'm going to just set the properties on the button and the labels to make them more user friendly. Let the user know that they can basically search for an invoice ID. Users can be able to type into that text box, click the search button, and the data grid view will refresh and only show matching information. And it could have been one result or many results. And I didn't have to do a great data grid view either. I could have done different kinds of controls there. Now, notice when we went to add that SQL query, we also had a button for a query builder. This is a very handy way to uh, practice your SQL and make sure you're getting the results that you, that you desire. You can do all sorts of things in here. You can see the SQL, you can see a, a, a column view, you can add tables, See how it creates the inner join for you automatically. See the relationship between database tables. You can actually execute the query in here to see if the results are what you expected. And just basically tweak your results. You should see the number of number of rows returned from the query. So it's kind of like a little miniature version of SQL Server Management Studio, the, the query designer part of it at least. All right, so we might not have liked the controls that were made to us automatically from that other way of doing things. So I'll show you another way to do it using a combo box and, and a button. I'm going to set the combo box drop down style to drop down list. I'm going to have this list fill from the database. And choose the data source that I want to use. Use my AP data set. Invoices table. And I want this drop down list to show all the invoice IDs. And we've already got code that fills that table. It got written for us automatically before from the other thing that we added. So the only thing we need to do differently is we don't want to get the uh, invoice ID from that text box, we want to get it from the combo box. So it's just a matter of copying and pasting that code and changing where it's getting its text from. And we should see it works. So this is a very limited example, but once you get this set up, you can do many more powerful things.